Hello there, my fellow Royal fans. I'm your host, Sheldon Moon. Let's get into today's headline. Meghan Markle faced personal animosity at Palace and someone hated her. Someone behind Palace walls, Palace hated Meghan Markle and there was a personal animosity towards her. The author of a new book about the Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry has claimed Robert Lacey, whose biography Battle of the Brothers hits the shelves later this week, has claimed staff didn't know how to deal with the American actress when she joined the royal family. Speaking on the Sunday Times, he said, There was personal animosity in the palace towards Meghan, and the feeling is mutual. There was somebody in the palace, and I can't name them, who hated Meghan. There is no love lost there. The palace expected Harry to marry a nice girl, called Annabelle or Henrietta, and to go and live in the country they didn't expect this bombshell. Lacey's book focuses on the breakdown in William and Harry's relationship, but it's said to be critical of pretty much all members of the royal family, including the Queen. He claims the rift between Meghan began way before he met Meghan, suggesting it began after Harry's infamous Nazi costume scandal in 2005. Lacey says William's response prompted Harry to reconsider his older brother's involvement and the differing treatments of the pair. Mr. Lacey also wrote the Queen felt that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were erratic and impulsive in making their departure from the royal family. Battle of the Brothers, which is out on Thursday, sheds a light on Kate and William's relationship, including revealing that the Queen broke royal tradition by offering the Duchess a Christmas invitation before her wedding day. But Kate, who was 24 at the time, declined the historic request. In his book, which was serialized in the Daily Mail, Lacey wrote that Kate would go to Sandringham on Christmas Day, only when she was engaged and had a ring to prove it. He writes, By 2006, the couple had been dating seriously for the past and the best part of five years. Yet, when William invited Kate to join him the year at Sandringham for the royal family traditional Christmas lunch, she refused. It was the first time the Queen had extended such an invitation to an unregistered girlfriend, but Kate had her own take on that break with tradition. She would go to Sandringham on Christmas Day only when she was engaged and had a ring to prove it. The book also claims that William was determined not to rush things with Kate and settle down too early. Lacey states that the future King turned to his family for advice. He writes, William turned to his father and grandmother for guidance. The Queen had grown very fond of Kate but she told him he shouldn't rush into a commitment. And his father advised the same. In any case, William was enjoying the life of a hard-drinking army officer. Not for nothing was his new regiment known as the Booze and Royals. There you have it, guys. A quick glimpse into the past. Nothing like a bit of royal history to wake you up in the morning. Hope you enjoyed today's article. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget with new videos daily, I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Goodbye for now.